Hi guys, I'm Kate, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful digital mosaic um, using the website mosaically.com. And I'm going to show you a mosaic that I made previously using pictures from a trip that I took to Japan this past Christmas. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is mosaically.com, and as you can see, there are a bunch of these mosaics on this home page of the site um, that a bunch of different people have created, and these are all public mosaics. You can actually also set your mosaic to private once you've created it if you don't want it to show up on the feed. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to sign in. If you don't have an account yet, you're going to click Get Started and follow the prompts to create an account. It's very easy. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So these, my uh, username and password go here. Um, and like I said, if you don't have an account, you just click create account and it's very, very simple. But I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And this is the mosaic that I made. It's called Japan Christmas, um, obviously, because uh, we went to Japan for Christmas. And this is a picture that my boyfriend took of me. Um, I'm on a bridge and it's snowing and it was lovely. Um, and so if I click on this, you can see that um, you can actually zoom in and zoom out. So you can see all of the different pictures that I used to create um, the mosaic, which is really neat. Um, zoom in again so you can see some of them. And the, the more pictures you use, the better. So, um, and the other really neat thing here is you see embed, you can actually embed um, mosaically mosaics um, into your websites and blogs for free. So it's pretty cool um, if you're savvy and you know how to do that. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to kind of show you how I created this. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Just kind of scroll down. Now this is how you do it. So you're going to pick the big picture and the big picture is uh, that I picked was the one of me on the bridge. And now you can upload it from either your computer, so like I'd go in here and I would find whichever one it was, it was this one. So I'd go ahead and I would select that one for my big picture. Um, you could also use Facebook or you can use the web. Um, and then you want to pick your small pictures. Now this can take a, a little bit of time to upload all of them, but again I would just go into my computer and then these are all the images that I used. And I just selected all of these. And, um, and then it's really easy, three simple steps. Then you just click Create Mosaic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break and I'm going to upload everything so then I can show you in a second when I get back um, how the uh, photo mosaic is created. Okay, I'm back. So that didn't take very long. So I chose a different picture to create a mosaic out of, and this is a little Japanese tea house that we had tea in, and it was really cool. Um, so, uh, and then I picked my smaller pictures to upload for my computer, and as you can see, I've already cropped all of these, but it allows you to crop um, your images as well. So I'm going to crop it like that. We went bowling. And we drove lots of places. Okay, so these are all uploaded. Now I'm going to click Create Photo Mosaic. And as it says, the more photos you use, the better. And there is my mosaic. And now you can edit this so that the tiles are either bigger or smaller. Um, you just play with it. So that's bigger. I kind of like them smaller, so I'm going to go smaller. And then you can also change it so that it's either um, more, more colored or uh, I think more true. Let's try true. My other one I did more colored, so let's see what true does. Yeah, I don't like that as much, so we're going to switch it back to color.
There we go. I like that. And then it also gives you the option to add more photos if you want to. Um, like I said, it's always better to have um, more photos because it comes out uh, looking a little bit sharper. So I'm going to save and make HD. And then what I can do is I can set it to be public. That means that it'll show up on the feed. Um, or I can set it to private so that only I can see it. Um, but I'll set it to public because I think it's cute. Um, and let me just put Japanese tea house this time. Um, and a description, a tea house, my friend and I drink tea in one rainy day in Japan. And then here you can allow people to submit photos to it um, or allow people to remix it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not select those just because I kind of want to keep it the way it is um, and then hit update. And, you know, on Mosaically, it's, it's cool because it's free to create and share and, like, people can zoom in to your photo um, like you saw me do before with my other Mosaic that I created. Um, and the other cool thing is that you only have to pay if you want to download a high-resolution copy of it so you can print it out at home or your local print shop, whichever you want. And, like, what's really cool um, is that in terms of having other people submit to this, um, to your mosaic rather. Uh, it's great if you want to create a gift for someone with a group of people. So maybe as like a surprise gift. Um, or it could be a neat way to maybe gather photos from a whole group of people after an event or a trip um, or something like that. Like I could have used this with my boyfriend and we both could have submitted photos to the same mosaic. Um, you can also you know create a gift for special events like holidays or an anniversary, a birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, Christmas, etc. So that is how you use mosaically.com and I hope that this tutorial will help all of you create some really beautiful and fun mosaics. Thank you for watching.